This is Emmett and Elizabeth Wood, Wood Education Blog 43. In this video, I talk to you about Omar buried Juniper in this video. And I will tell you about it is natural that these animals be replaced with another one soon after the pet is, has died and been buried. I'll see you in the next page. Hello, good morning. This is Eva Elizabeth Wood, Wood Education Blog 43. I welcome you to my channel uh, right down here. Where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. Oh, right down here is subscribe. I found it. <laughs> uh oh. Hit that notification bell. If you like me talking about Omar burying Jupiter, if you like me talking about it, huh, just push that subscribe button, that notification. Oh. <laughs> and I thank you for stopping by. I, I don't usually get this happy little greetings <laughs> announcement here. <laughs> um, before I get started, um, this is uh, all. This is uh, what I'm going to talk about. Just a few seconds ago, I just got a pop-up on my computer. I had my email opened up. And I went to use the, the bathroom and came back. I found this AMD. Right away, I know it is a, um, a scam. And I wasn't calling for it because I have another AMD thing that comes up in the corner. Up in the up in the corner of my computer, that one I trusted. Okay, this is Microsoft, or this is the Hewlett Packard one up here. That one I click on, but this one came up. It's an AMD and it's red. Uh, if you get a pop up like that, go to Task Manager and in that that pop up. Otherwise, if you click on it, you're going to get a whole lot of viruses and malwares on it. I thought maybe I'd give you a warning. Well, the reason why I'm so peppy this morning is because Omar uh, has gotten himself another bird. And um, this is natural for anyone who lost their pet. That they uh, immediately go get another one. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, um, a couple of animals that I have gotten. Now, I'm going to tell you about Muffin Boy. He was the last one that passed away on me. Um, no, Coco Baby, I think it was. Now I forgot. Well, anyway, it was Muffin Boy, I think it was. No, it was Coco. I can't remember. I keep going back and forth. You know, I I lost him like Omar lost Jupiter. And I I know how he feels. And when he was dug a hole and, and put him or her into the ground, that is the hardest part in grieving, is to see the body of a loved one going down in the grave. And we are standing there... You know, we are grieving. We that that is the hardest thing for anybody. I know that by experience when my uncle's on my father's side, every time we go to the funeral and every time we go to the grave, the cemetery, to bury, I would just stand there and cry. I I I love my family on my father's side. It's a big family. And um uh, my tears come. Uh, you know, that is the hardest thing, is standing there with a casket slowly going down into the grave. And it is really sad. And I know Omar is doing the same thing, and I know how he feels, you know. But it takes time to, to get over a loss. There's a grieving time. 
it took a year. It took a year for me to get over the grieving of my parents in 1985. Oh no. I know, it hurts. And now I'm going to cry because I mentioned about my parents. Anyway, we grieve. We, we never stop grieving. Yes, we, there are times we, we talk about our loved ones that is deceased and we're, we're okay. There are other times, there are other times that we think about our loved ones and we don't cry. We have good memories. But Omar has the right attitude. He has the right understanding that that God, God created the pets for us to take care of. He created the animals so we can we can take care of them. And we take dominion over the animal. And that's what he did with Adam when he first created Adam. He created all the animals in, on the planet. And God had Adam name every uh, animal and, and call them names like cow, tiger, bear, alligator. They're not really names, uh, what we call. Let's say if we have a pet name, uh, we have an alligator named Wild One or something like that. No, they're just the, um, the physical names of the animals. And um, what Omar did was natural because I did the same thing a couple of times, is to go get another bird, another uh, fungi bird, uh, which is a parrot, a parakeet, and have it to, to keep another parrot company in the cage. And that was beautiful. And at the same time, it was comforting uh, uh, Omar, that he has a new friend now to take the place of Jupiter. And that's what I did with my cats. Now, when when Coco or Muffin, I forgot which one was the last one that lived, passed away, I, of course, I had Ginger. It was, um, it was Coco, baby. It was or was it Muffin? I can't remember. You know, my mind is going, being an old senior lady here, 77 years old, my mind is, is getting so crazy. It won't remember things. <laughs> it won't remember things, but... Uh, I know Omar is suffering right now, and so is his family. And uh, we all do. We all go through this. And, and thinking about seeing Jupiter in heaven, that's trying to make him feel a little, a little better, make him feel better thinking that. Well, that is a nice thought. There are good memories that we have with our pets. I had some funny ones. <laughs> I had some funny ones with my Coco and, and Muffin Boy, I'll tell you. My Coco Baby and my Muffin Boy. But, you know, it's natural for us to want to have another pet right away, and and uh, not everybody will do that, you know. After a, a, a pet dies, not everyone is going to go uh, after another pet. But the, the bird that he gotten um, to take place to Jupiter is beautiful blue, and, and a little friend his yellow, his other one that he's got in the cage, his little friend, I love that yellow. Those, those birds are so beautiful, so beautiful. I, I just, I wish I could have a parakeet. That would be nice. If, if my manager will allow me to have a bird, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> but, you know, being an old lady, I don't think I can, you know, handle the bird. <laughs> I wouldn't love to have a bird. Well, anyway, you know, God created, God created the animals, and they were named by Adam. 
and they're, they're around today. There are cows and bears and tigers and all sorts of animals. But when we go to heaven, when we go to heaven, you know, in order to go to heaven, you have to, you have to confess your sins before God and he will forgive you. He won't condemn you if you confess your sins to God. That's the only way you can get to heaven is to go through Jesus Christ. And you will get to go to heaven. And you get to be with the animals that you love. And I got quite a few. And I'm sure that you, I'm sure that Omar has some few animals up in heaven already. And that's a nice thought. That would keep him that would keep him from grieving a little bit if he thinks about his Jennifer being in heaven. And I saw that bird that he got. It's a punji. And he's a beautiful blue bird. Um he he either it's a he or a she, I don't know. And he did describe how you can tell if they're a female or a male. If it's, if it's a blue, it's a male, I think, and if it's a pink, then it's uh, a female. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, forgive me, people. I I know that Omar is going to be okay. Yeah, he's going to be okay. Yeah, it's, it's hard to lose an animal that you love so much. But knowing that we will see them again, in heaven. Oh, now, there was a question uh, at times that people will ask, does the pets go to heaven? And there's some pros and cons about that. Some people think that, no, they don't have a soul like we do. They don't have a soul, so they will not go to heaven. And then others will say, yes, yes. They will go to heaven, and and I believe it. God created them, like He created us. Then, as a believer in, in Christ, that He died for our sins and was risen on the third day. He took all our sins, which is the, uh, the Ten Commandments, the Ark of the Covenant. He took with Him. We will all see our loved ones that have passed on and we'll be seeing more coming up. We'll greet them in, in the heaven realm. We'll, we'll greet our loved ones that come after us. And, and God will prepare a place for us to stay in the mansion or we have our own homes from what I read. But it is a wonderful feeling. You know, Omar can think about what is what he is uh, going to see in the future that he, that he will be able to be with his pets and, and Juniper, of, of course. Yeah, he's a bird lover. Yeah. He, he uh, I knew he was going to go go get another bird. I had that in the back of my mind. Well, after Muffin went, I think it was Muffin that passed away last, or was it Coco? Well, I still can't remember. <laughs> well, one of them, let's put it that way. I, I, I had Ginger at the time. I had four cats. I had Felix, George Williams, and Ginger Mae Williams. I had Mr. Jenkin. No, I didn't have Mr. Jenkin. I just had Coco Baby. Uh, Muffin Boy, um, uh, 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 Ginger Muffin Boy, Coco Baby, and Felix George. Well, Felix George, he passed away during surgery. And, and my boarder and I, we, we thought there was something wrong with Felix George. So I took him to the veterinarian hospital, and they were operating on him. And during surgery, uh, Felix George passed away. And I, you know, I cried. 
you know, it's natural to grieve over a death. And um, so, so Ginger lost his brother. My Ginger made it my last cat that passed on, and um, she um, she was my baby. <laughs> she was my baby. She was. I had stories about her. Uh, I had stories about Coco and Baby and Muffin Boy. Maybe in the future video, I will I will tell you the stories about them. And they're good memories. And they're funny cats. I'll tell you. I never saw two cats together like they they were together. They're brothers, and uh, they're 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 they were my babies. <laughs> They saw all the other animals I have, but wait, I'm going to see them again because God created them. So if we go back to, to, to God, our souls, our spirit goes back to God, so will the animals because he's the one that's creating them. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, um, Omar, uh, uh, <laughs> you have the right thinking here. You will see Juniper. You will see Juniper again. And all the animals that passes on in your life, you will see them again. I know I'm going to see mine. Uh, I believe that. I believe that. And... Omar, my prayers are up to you. Keep on doing what you're doing, even though we're isolated, we're in the shutdown. Uh, once it's open, be careful, Omar. Be careful. Wear your mask wherever you go on your on your ghost hunting, whatever, and your ventures. And uh, enjoy your family. and And I'm glad you have a happy bird. Uh, her name is. Um, little friend, little friend, that's the yellow bird's name, little friend, hmm, now I forgot what his name is, new bird, it's a pretty blue, those, that light blue and that yellow together, oh, what a kind, what a combination, oh, what a beautiful bird set on my hands. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad he got it because that, that is a comfort, that comforts you, Omar, that you got another bird to take the place of Jupiter. He can't be like Jupiter, like you said. <coughs> now, um, my last colleague that passed away, no, my first colleague, um, not my first, not Camelot, but the next one up, um, Sunny one. When she passed away, I wanted another colleague just like Sunny one. So there was a advertisement of a sable collie in the paper, and I went to get her. And she was a puppy at the time I got her, and I brought her home, and I called her Sunny Gal too, and. Uh, I want to show her, but I know I'm not supposed to, <laughs> um, um, because the Federal Trade Commission will not accept that. So, <laughs> so she wasn't like my other one, but I love her just the same. She she is a stable collie. She's, of course, she's different. She wasn't as pretty as my first one, but. She's a sable, and she, to me, she took the place of Sunny Gal. One, yeah. I did that with the cats. Um, I had um, Ginger and George. Then when Muffin passed away, or Coco, I forgot which one it was. I went to the shelter in Canandaigua, New York, on Route 46. And I went in there, and I was looking for a cat. And uh, there was a cat in the cage with a tongue hanging out. Just like that. 
And I thought it was a cute cat. Guess what? I got him. He had all his shots and everything, and they asked me if the other cats are, had their shots and everything, and I thought I, they didn't. And then I remember they did. I went back, I said, yes, they did have their shots and everything. So I brought Jenkins home, and he went hiding. And I thought he'd gotten out, and I went looking for him. <laughs> but he was my cat for 17 years. That's how long I had him, for 17 years. And Ginger May was 17 years old, too. And, um... So, that was the, you know, it just made me happy. It just comforted me that I had something in place on my, my pets that is lost. And uh, it's natural to do that. And some people don't do that. Once they have their pets passed away, they don't go after another pet. Now my sister, my sister does that. She, one of her dogs go, she got to have another one. She just got to. And that's just the naturalness in us to want to uh, find another animal to take the place of the one that passed on, but the personality is not the same. No, the personality is not the same. So Omar, I, my prayers are still with you and your family, Timothy, Boston, um, um, Melissa, and Myla, Seth, and <coughs> I forgot what your other son's name is. Well, my prayers are all for everybody out there in Florida, down in Florida. I'm, I'm in New York. <laughs> so I thank you for watching, and and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down here, right there. Oh no, no, it's over here. No, 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 no. it's over here. Woo -hoo -hoo. Click on it. <laughs> and click a like, share this video, <laughs> and I thank you for watching. This is Wood Education Block 43. I'm saying so long on YouTube and the World Wide Web. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>